episode two. Asshole. You ready? I don't know. Am I ready for this? I hope so. So here we go. Atlas Mugged episode two, starting here in a second. But no, oh, and incidentally, welcome back, of course. Uh, this is Let's Play All the Games. I'm Andy. I'm Katie. And of course, this is Tales from the Borderlands, episode two, Atlas Mugged. I have played all of this again from here on out. Katie has not. But Andy also said this episode is the one that It he is the one I think I least. remember the least, so that should be interesting. So it's gonna be great. Yeah, this is gonna kick ass. Your hair is stupid. <laughs> But he works really hard at it. Your jacket is stupid, too. Somehow he worked really hard at that, too, and I'm not sure exactly how that worked. I think he wove it from his own hair, actually. It wouldn't surprise me with that, dude. He sells them on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> but they always end up on Regretsy. Ah, Marcus is back. Fuck you! <laughs> How are we going to start every episode, or every chapter of this playthrough? <laughs> With Katie telling Marcus to do something anatomically impossible. Oh man, who's going to show up in this one? Zero was in the last one. I know the answer. Oh, fuck. D take a guess. Random guess, anybody. My first instinct was Salvador, but... So that's your guess? Yeah. Okay. So we're guessing Salvador. So just catch no, up... I'm going to say Krieg. You're going to say Krieg? Okay. Yeah. So Krieg. It's your final answer. So, of course, we just pretty much wrecked Bossa Nova, and uh, you shot this guy, importantly. You shot No, no you didn't shoot him. I'm sorry. You let him blow Tiny up. Tiny Tina's going to be in it, isn't she? <laughs> uh, to my knowledge, no. Well, that well then, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Wake up! Hey, hey, seriously, can you use your words? They looked pretty cute napping together, though. Just wasting bullets with that thing. You know, also tired. You said you don't ship them. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Which is why that scene's funnier. Okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, that's a. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like shit. He looks really pale there. Yeah. That's weird. I think that's kind of the lighting. Which, as we've seen, the lighting. No, he looks dead. <laughs> well, I don't think. Uh, there's not officially undead on Pandora. Lee's gonna show up. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> no, Kenny pulls up in a boat, oh, saves the day. That would make my day, actually. <laughs> Kenny should be in all Telltale games. I agree. Kenny's the best. Even though some people vehemently hate Kenny, we continue no, to love Kenny. we've made it clear Kenny. that we are Team Kenny. <laughs> all the way. I mean, I will say this much, it's... <laughs> I've already completely <laughs> forgotten that I was holding a controller, so yeah, this playthrough. Yeah, you can kind of hear it though, can't you? I'm trying. I actually have to read the subtitles. I can't okay. hear anything. Well, see, I can hear it a little bit, but of course, when we're talking. So you Come remember? Come on, man! It's downloaded on my system, and you're glitching. What is it? Uh, not really that bad. This is about normal. It's skipping. This is the Telltale engine. But I didn't run into any real problems when I played through it. So. Buddy. Who am I? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're Fiona. You're, uh, I do like that that visual cue exists. That's nice. Yeah, now I know that because yeah. of that frilly thing underneath it, it, I was answering for Fiona. And it occurs to me that... That's a really great idea, it actually. It is. And it occurs to me, too, that I think part of that is maybe because you can be two different characters in this and you have to know which one you are. Yeah. If, for example, you're hearing impaired or maybe you're just playing it quiet with the subtitles on so you're not waking up your kids or something... That lets you actually functionally tell who's who. Good so that's job, really cool. Telltale. Yeah. That's really cool. Computer enhance. No, I don't want to. Trying to get to enhance the map. Enhance. Enhance. Computer images. computers work. Where are you from? Star Trek and Pandora do not cross. Owie. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that's the key that the two pieces of which uh, Fiona and Reese touched. And then it clunked together okay. there at the end. And what you're about to find out is nobody else can touch it but them, because now it's keyed to them. Okay. The key pieces are somehow, like, keyed to them. They, they're they the only ones who can pick it up. The question is, which one did you initially pick up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you oh. remember? Oh, yeah, I... Uh, Fiona got the small one, right? Okay. I, I, I actually so. don't remember. It's not, I mean, it's just curious to know if you can I think you, you play as, was I Reese at the end? 
Was I make? Was Reese making? Yeah, because he think, fell down. Yeah, first. he fell down first. Okay, yeah. so I grabbed the big one. I do remember that because I was like, "Fuck her." Good call. Yeah. yeah, her hands still look really dark. Like compared to the rest of her, it's like they used a different shade. I, well, and this is actually kind of weird. It's like they used the skin shade for Sasha on her hands, but not her face. She's black from the wrist down. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. No. <laughs> hey, that Robin's egg blue though. Or I not. didn't get get what she said. Maybe we should get out while we have a chance. No, we're going to the vault. Yep. And screw you. <laughs> I'm a vault hunter now. <laughs> oh, are you? <laughs> what the hell is this? Um, I can tell you that you can look at almost everything because I now remember the specific thing you're gonna have to eventually do. Yeah, you'll uh, you'll do something with that here momentarily. Or maybe it did take you straight to that shit. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> nope, you're good. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's the one thing I wish, like, it would give you some clear indication of where the progress is. All right, is. Sasha, what's up? What's taking so long? I feel like we have a tense relationship. That didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta talk to him, and then I'll use the... I, I didn't read what you said. Sorry, dude. Guess I should have known it'd go like this. Okay. So, and just remember, too, you know why uh, Reese was running away, like the thing at the very end? No. Handsome Jack had just popped up in okay. his mind. The hologram of Handsome Jack. Okay. Well, I do remember that. I didn't realize yeah. that's why he mm. ran away. Well, that's... Nobody knows oh, what craps. he's doing yet. <laughs> Sounds like this General Pollux never made it out of the room. Well, that's... Yeah. And I mean, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Every time I answer a question, I don't know what. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't want. Wait, I. Wait. Yeah, you can look at the tray if you want. Oh, I did. Okay. It was empty. I think yeah. Iko had been there. <laughs> Iko had eaten. All right. Well, yes. Look at this again. Yep. Okay. What's this button do? <laughs> push the big yellow button. Are you gonna push it? I'm gonna uh, push it. I'm gonna push it. Hello, creepy dude in a coffin. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought I was going to see. So, of course it was looking for a retinal scan. Well, now all we have to do is get his eye to that retinal scanner. Uh, well, apparently he's also Abraham Lincoln. Computer. I just want to point that out. <laughs> oh, Jeez. you're really heavy, guy. Uh, whoops. That's a problem. Wow. That's not gonna work. Yeah, he's wedged in there pretty tight. <laughs> now, well, I think I remember where this conversation's gonna go. We don't actually need no! To for that. Yeah. I mean, clearly hey, he's... Guys. He's in a coffin, so it's kinda... General Pollux, you're about to get ahead in life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at his pockets. Why not? Actually, yeah, he might have money. I can't remember. Ooh, or not. Oh, that. I was right. Not that much. Now you think a general would have more walking around money? Especially on Pandora, where there's lots of places to spend your walking around money. Well, well not uh, that much, not my that ass. Not that much. $300? I'll take it. I'll take that. Look at his uniform. About the only time I walk around that much is at a Comic-Con. <laughs> Which, you well, know. let's do this thing. <laughs> if you try to rip it out with your bare hand, you'll just end up squishing it. Uh, Good call. Idea, just hit him in the back of the head really hard. Yeah, you know, science says that'll work, right? <laughs> Eyes are pretty creepy. <laughs> You're basically He's doing him a favor. I'm not sure he would agree. Sasha's always pragmatic. So it's it looks like us. you may need a tool. Alright. You have seen a tool in this room. Okay. Oh, the spork. Yes, that's exactly Obvious. it. Obvious. I knew the spork was going to... Actually, that was the only... That was the thing I really noticed about that, was that there was a spork sitting there. And I, I mean, like, at this point, I'm sitting here thinking, is this actually happening? Is this game actually having me pull this guy's eye out with a spork? 
It shouldn't be a spork, though. It should just be a spoon, because then that calls back the story. I think I mentioned it in the first episode, where Handsome Jack tells oh, the yeah, story about yeah. the guy running at him with a spoon or yeah, something. Yeah, so I carved his eyes out yeah. with it. Yeah. I do remember that. I don't think we did mention that, but I remember that story, him telling that. I did, because then the thing was, uh, the moral of the story is you're a total bitch. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. No, maybe that came up later. I don't think yeah. I, I maybe might it not hasn't have come told up the story, what I put but up that's, yet. W- that's one of my favorite <laughs> anyway, Handsome Jack The moral Jack of the story moves. is you're a total bitch. Handsome Jack is the really best funny. in Borderlands 2. Just his dialogue. Hey, Pumpkin. I haven't talked to you since I tried to kill you. I love when he contacts you and he's eating pretzels. Yeah. And, like, talking. Oh, God, <laughs> these pretzels suck. <laughs> That voice actor is yeah. so good. It was kind of perfect. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. And I like how you know everybody's just making Fiona do it. Like nobody else is stepping up. Oh god, do I have to watch this? No. You may have to do like some motions, but it won't I don't think it really shows you the full thing. If I remember correctly. Yeah, you know, the thing in Walking Dead season two where Clementine has to sew her oh, arm god, back up. Yes. That actually doesn't bother me. This is Ooh, that this bothers is bothering me. me right now if I actually have to yeah. Do this. See, it kind of just cuts away. I don't have a juice box to settle it down. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, man. Aww. <laughs> like, this game finds a way to pull no punches, but come right up to the moment where it's not, like, being graphic. It's, it's well, really Well, I mean, weird. it... When Zero cut those uh, psychos in half in the last episode, I, like, Borderlands is pretty. It's a pretty brutal. brutal. I mean, yeah. Pandora is a brutal it's place. It's bloody. Yeah, yeah. You actually. Ooh, I forgot. Okay, this angle, which is, uh, in a way, not as bad, and in a way, creepier. Ugh, I'm going with creepier. Yeah, I kind of forgot. You no, know, I'd rather color. look at it this way than actually, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. Watch the eye. I mean, and it is, it is another, I hate to say this, but it's actually, as ghoulish as it is, it's actually really good. Oh! Spork is not the right tool for this. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Catch oh, it, shit, catch shit, it. Shit, shit. Nice. Here's looking at you, Vaughn. Let's just get this thing over to the And then we all crushed it. <laughs> Metaphorically. Which is better than real life. Oh, actually, yeah. Can you is there anything left on him? Use him? Oh, you could search him for money again. Ugh. No, there's no Or you no, can search at that the... empty socket, yeah. Is there money in here? Uh maybe. I don't think so, but No. Oh. And you know what though? I kinda like that, the look on her face. It's good, you know, emotional acting. But I was going to say, that was actually really good, like, directing camera work on that shot, where it was looking out at her, as ghoulish as that is. That is in pretty good condition. Yeah. Considering the trauma. Ah. What's up, Athena? Guess who's pissed off at Atlas still. Whoa, dim red eyes. Wait, Athena... Who's Athena again? Uh, she's from, um... Uh, is she from the pre-sequel? She's from General Knox's. Okay, no. Yeah, she, she was, was the one you I rescued. Oh, she's also the, one of the Vault Hunters in the pre-sequel. Okay, that's what I thought. But she's originally from General Knox. She's the same character. Yeah, that's right. They talk about Old Haven. When I think of Secret Armory of General Knox, I just think of tears. <laughs> and and sitting on my couch crying. I do remember you telling me about that. During the boss fight. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, General Pollux? Oh. Um. Oh, suspended animation. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm sure they have robotic eyes on this planet. Yeah. I mean, well, Reese has got I, one. I like, yeah, showing him eating with the spork. That's yeah. Oh, oh, man. man. Yeah, let's just ram that home, Vaughn. No way. No. No, he has to be dead. Don't. Clearly, I did know that, but I was not letting on to it. <laughs> 